Currently, Notability is $8.99 in the App Store. It offers tons of great features for taking aesthetic and efficient notes. If you haven't seen a Notability video in 2020, then you need to check out this latest version. It's amazing. Today, I'm going to do a walkthrough of Notability's features and share my thoughts on the app. When you first open up Notability, you have your note pages on the right side and your dividers and subjects on the left side of the screen. If you think more in terms of a Windows file management system versus having a physical notebook, then this is a great note-taking app to have. I would say that Notability and Microsoft OneNote are very comparable. At the top, you have a view of all of your notes, your most recently accessed note pages, and any unfiled notes which are notes that have not been placed in a subject. To create a divider or subject, just tap the plus sign at the top of the screen. You have the option to name it whatever you want, except there cannot be duplicate names. I'm just gonna name it divider. Then I'm gonna follow the same process to create a subject. Then you can simply tap on the subject and drag it into the divider that you want. To create a new note page, simply press the icon in the top right corner of the screen. When a new note is created, by default it has a date and a timestamp, and you have the ability to name the note. Going over the items in the toolbar, the leftmost icon takes you back to the home page. Moving towards the right, the next icon gives you various options to share, export, and print your notes. The back arrow is an undo. Another gesture is to swipe left with three fingers to undo and right with three fingers to redo. You can also double tap with three fingers to undo. For the text option, you can tap anywhere on the screen to start a text box. You can change the font size, the font itself, underline, bold, or italicize the text, and change its color. There is also an option to save your three favorite default font formats, which makes it easy to switch between typing headers, subheaders, and your actual notes. There is also a neat checklist option and various formatting options like bullet points and numbered outlines. Moving on, the pen has several colors available and you can also add and save up to 24 of your own custom colors. There are several different sizes to choose from, ranging from a very fine tip to a fat marker tip. There is also a pressure sensitive option that can act as a brush pen. I will say it is very sensitive and a bit hard to control compared to a physical brush pen, but I'm sure with some practice it wouldn't be too bad. However, I normally stick with the regular pen when writing my notes. One feature that I love about Notability is how easy it is to draw shapes. If you've used Notability in the past, then you know what an improvement this is. To draw any shape, you use the pencil and hold your pencil in the place for a moment at the end of the stroke and it will automatically adjust the shape for you. This works for drawing straight lines and other shapes. I personally like that there isn't a separate straight line tool because this makes it much easier and faster to underline, create fraction bars, and box equations when you're taking notes. The highlighting tool is set up in the same way with a pressure sensitive and normal highlighting option. There is a similar selection of sizes and the same straight line and shape drawing technique can be used. If you've looked at older reviews of Notability, a common complaint was that the highlighter used to go over your handwriting. However, they fixed that so that now your writing stands out clearly on a layer above the highlighter. It's a bit hard to explain but essentially, your text color is not distorted when you highlight over it. Notability has also addressed the complaints with the eraser. In the latest version, there are many sizes and you have the option to erase either the entire stroke or a specific part of a stroke for more precise erasing. The scissors tool enables you to move around whatever is enclosed. You can change the size by pinching in and out, and you can change the font size and color by tapping on style. This works for both the pencil and highlighting tool. 
There is also an upgrade option for $2.99 that will convert your handwriting to text. The pointer icon is great for reviewing your notes because you can scroll through your pages without leaving stray marks. Another neat feature is the option to record, which is great for lectures. You can record audio and when you play it back, your notes will initially be grayed out and then will revert to their original color at the time you took them during the recording. This way you can see exactly what was being said at the time you wrote something down. The latest version of Notability enables you to edit and merge recordings as well as play with the audio recording settings. It's super easy to start and stop multiple recordings per note page as well as change the playback speed of a recording. The plus icon on the right side of the screen gives you options to add images which can easily be cropped, resized, and given a text caption. The same plus sign gives you an option to take a photo, scan a document, add GIFs or GIFs, and sticky notes. These stickies can be resized and have various paper styles and colors. That way your sticky notes always match your lecture notes. Then you can either handwrite or add text on the sticky. You can move it around either just the text or the entire sticky note with the text. Notability makes it easy to go back at any time to change your paper style or color. By tapping on the three dots on the right side of the screen, you can change the type and color of paper. There's blank, grid, lined, and dotted paper, each of which comes in different sizes. The rightmost icon gives you a thumbnail view of your note pages. You can bookmark pages and easily access them later. There's also a place to search in your notes, but this will only work on a PDF or text and not your handwriting unless you purchase the upgrade. You also have the option to rearrange your note pages from this sidebar. Another thing I love about Notability is how far you can zoom in and out. There is also a zoom tool that can be found at the lower right corner of the screen that makes writing notes much easier. This tool automatically scoots the paper over for you, making digital writing effortless. You can drag this anywhere on the screen using the three horizontal bars on the right side of the screen. The toolbar also shows up at the top of the zooms in area, so you can easily reach the highlighter or eraser even if you're writing at the bottom of your iPad. On the right, there are also options to tab and go to a new line. You can easily move around the zoomed in portion as well as change its size. By moving around the blue tab on the screen, you can adjust where your page automatically scoots over while you're writing your notes. If you swipe right, the note switcher pops up. This shows your most recently accessed notes as well as an option to search for a certain note page. You can tap on the three dots to pull up two notes at once. This is an amazingly helpful feature, especially when you have lecture slides or a PDF textbook on one side and your handwritten notes on the other. You can drag the tab in the middle to resize the notes or swipe it to the side to remove the second note. Going back to the home page, one last feature is the ability to search through all of your notes. The search looks for both the title of a note page or content within a note page. So it's easy to find something specific if you have it saved as a PDF. The occurrences of the word are highlighted, which makes it very easy to find when you export a textbook as a PDF. By tapping edit in the top left hand corner, you can change the color of a subject, as well as have the option to make it password protected. You can also rearrange the subjects and dividers in any way you like. When you open up the settings, you have various options to back up your note pages. Under themes, there's an option for light, dark, and dark blue mode, as well as various other upgrades that you can purchase. This is also where you can have the option to select colorful subjects. 
Under the Documents tab is where you select your default note paper type and color, as well as decide whether you want to include a time and date stamp. The Typing section is where you can select your default font and style, as well as its color. Under the Handwriting tab is where you can select whether you want straight line detection, your palm detection, and whether you want left-handed mode. I keep these all on default settings. Password is where you can set up subjects to be password protected and enable Touch ID protected subjects. The iOS sleep timer ensures that your iPad stays on regardless of how long you have a note page open. There are also settings regarding text-to-speech speed as well as password protected web clips. And that's the settings. The little trash can allows you to access and recover notes deleted within the past 30 days. One thing that I really like is that the setup of a notability allows me to organize my classes the way I would in like a physical binder. As you can see, I have a divider per class, then I use a subject for lecture notes, handouts, and quizzes. I also like being able to zoom really far out to get an overview of my notes. This just means I don't have to scroll as much when I'm looking for a specific topic. I also like how I can switch quickly between graph paper while I'm taking notes and blank paper when I'm finished taking notes. I also think that Notability works very well with a split screen. The option to zoom really far in and out makes using the split screen great for taking notes over PowerPoints or textbooks. One thing that I don't like is that you have to swipe through pages of colors to get to your custom colors. So to switch between black and the light pink I use throughout my notes, I have to swipe over two pages because the colors cannot be rearranged. This means that making key terms a different color is a fairly inefficient process. Another annoying thing is setting your own custom templates. You have to import your template as a PDF and copy and paste it from the thumbnail view for every page. So it can be done, but it's a really slow process. However, Notability does have a good range of basic paper colors and styles. My last complaint is with the pen and highlighter sizes. I wish you could select your few favorite sizes, that way you don't have to remember where they are. Like I use the second row first column to write my headers, but the third row second from the end to highlight it. It's not super convenient. All that being said, I still love Notability and it is currently my main note taking app. I highly recommend it and it's totally worth the price. It really does have everything you need to take great and functional notes. It has a simple interface and is very easy to use, yet it also has lots of features that can make your notes super aesthetic and extra. And that's all I have to say. If you like this video, you'll definitely like my other videos, and I'll definitely like you.